We have a double cross. Purgatory. Catapult. Bridge burner. Huh. Bridge burner. These two are magnetic items that can stick together. The other one is not. Which is likely very important. And the basic shape you need to accomplish to beat the puzzle. At the very least looks like that. That's how they fit together at the end. But I need to get across the gap. There's no rotation pieces, which is unusual for this level. There's literally only one place you could be a bridge, which is right here. And that's why it's a problem. Okay. But the good news is this thing rotates while it's already in shape. So that should make this more usable. God, that makes it weird. Um... Is there a simple way to fix that? Now I'm a bit curious. Can I just make that one shape face the other way? That fit perfectly into where it needs to end up being. Except that one's rotated the other way around. Oh, now I'm all curious. I'm, it feels like I'm achingly close to the solution, which is why something must be wrong. trying to diagnose whether this is a problem I changed later or earlier. Except it seems like the only way to push it across the bridge is to have it be pointing down at that point. So the question is how do I change its direction later? Make you face that way, I can't really do anything besides push you back down, which also traps you again. So has the mistake already been unavoidably made? Is there nothing I can do at this stage of the puzzle? Two solution is to try to rotate this end, right? But there's other ideas. I guess it, maybe it's about laying it down in the right spot.
Like this? Like that gets us stuck in the wrong- same spot though. Um... Well, that's definitely not it. Uh, that's not it, but there might be a variation of that. It might change the output a little bit. Oopsie. Come back over by one. It's not helpful. <laughs> it's not helpful the way I hoped it might be. Uh... If I do it one sooner, does anything change? I mean, this is just what I did the first time, right? That's just back to square one. Nope. My brain's looping back on itself now. Can I walk it back? Can I walk the whole thing backwards? has to be in this configuration. I'm just trying to think of, like, is there a way to... Hmm. What's with the weird hook-shaped level? I was thinking I could just roll this thing backwards towards the origin in reverse, and then, like, try to reconstruct what position it has to be in when it gets here in the first place. No. You know what? I think the bridge is a trap. I think laying the bridge first and using said bridge is basically a trap. Because puzzles. That's how puzzles do. So let's see what I can do before the bridge is laid. So it falls on the ground. So it can't lay down like that. What if I prop it up? Well, for starters, I can't push it that direction when it's propped up like that. How about you? It's like now it's almost in the position it has to be in. Can I work with that? That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Yes. The bridge was a trap. It was a lie. It was there to deceive. And after that, it actually becomes really straightforward because the only way to make it not fall in the hole is to have that one part stick out, which perfectly fits into the rest of the puzzle. Huh. 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 Uh, you look like a nightmare. When were to you? Purgatory. You look you look weirdly simple. Double cross. I kind of want to do them in in order of of growing visual complexity of the starting level, just to make it so that the final one looks kind of climactic when I do it. But I don't know which one's actually the hardest. This one looks the simplest, so let's do it next, I guess. So I just got to make that go into the right spot. Okay. I'm a little worried about it being called Purgatory, because it wasn't the level I was stuck on forever. Had, didn't that have a similar name? So you'd want to just push it down, but I can't. I can't push it down. It's impossible. Hmm.
I can't really preemptively push the L-shaped pipe where I want it to go. And there's no rotational block, so I don't know of any mechanic that would allow me to stand it up on top of anything. Is this one gonna have something really weird going on? This one might have something really weird going on with the, uh, the way these things move. Am I gonna learn a new trick? Is it like this? Do I push it out like this? Oh, it's gonna be a weird one, isn't it? Oh, it's gonna be a weird one. So we're close, just don't push it quite that far down. Haha, <laughs> that's a clever one. Alright. Very easy puzzle. Once you- uh, although just- I mean, every puzzle's so easy in this game if you know the answer, I guess, so... It, having it occur to me that early in the process made it a quick solve, but that's a fun idea. That's a fun idea. That's something we haven't done before. Oh, there's only two to go. There's only two to go. That I can finally close the book on this game. This game that I've it's just been itching at the back of my brain for so long. I do not like having a game sit, sitting there incomplete on my schedule. It's like, when are you going to get back to it? When are you going to get back to it, huh? You took a break. You're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to do that. So I'll be very happy to have this cleared. What is happening, by the way? You can only activate those buttons by stepping on them. That means I have to somehow get up there to step on the other button. And then that causes this thing to get triggered somehow in a useful way, I guess. The hell? The actual hell? What the higgity heck? Ah! That makes you escape. Isn't that interesting? We can push you along here. Uh, but you're gonna be stuck on the wall now. Oh, and I can't press the other button like that. I guess if I flipped it earlier, it'd be safe? Maybe? Hmm. Does it start off in the top row? It does. Shit. I can't get it off the top row because they put a log here. Making it a kind of a staunch limitation. That's rough because I can't roll it up on its side like this. Because it falls in the hole here. And then if you push over here, the put this uh, log's in the way. Oop. That doesn't get rid of that problem, though. Damn it. If I can roll it up on its side, but have the tail be on the other side, we're good. But I can't do that because the log, as far as I can tell. The log kind of ruins that. So that's not actually progress for me. That traps it. Definitely a tail problem at that point. Uh. What do I do with you?
Do I just push you back in again? That might be all I needed. There we go. Wait, but how do I get you out of the hole? Uh... Push you aside. What I've noticed that ult is ultimately, oops, this is going to be here, which means I'll need an exit, which means this guy has to be in the hole. It's, and the, the right angle, its corner has to be on the actual exact platform, which I think I could just set up here now, right? Shit, no. Needs to go in like corner first. It basically has to be shaped like this, but not on the wall. Now get and not hit the wall. I see it. If I push you against this, that'll give us one extra space of squ a square of space. Then I can push you out. There we go. Shit, I pushed against the wall. Go around. There we go. So now the exit's clear. I just have to rotate it like that many times if I want to get around, but it's fine. And now I should be able to use you to help us escape it. No. That's the same outcome, isn't it? Yeah. Is it useful to do that? Maybe if I... I can't push it, though. I can push it from here. Do I need to go the other way around? What? Oh, it collides in midair and gives up. I didn't know that was an option. I just need it to escape the hole. Just push it by one and see what happens. There we go. Now it's physically off the bottom at the very least. Now all that's left is I just need it to, to rotate. Shit. That doesn't work. Damn it. Uh... How do I accomplish the goal of just having it be horizontal? Needs to be horizontal, but also accessible. That doesn't work at all. Um...
Now we're just back where we started. That's how little progress we've made. Oh, good job, me. Just missing the point of this whole part somehow. I just need you off the platform, but horizontal at the same time. I can I can get it off vertically. And that's when it's ready. Like, that configuration seems like when it's ready to end up in the right spot. It always ends up on that platform. Can't just stick out this way slightly more. I could just push it one more, then it would come out sticking out by one. Pushing you again makes it worse, right? Didn't I just push you by one? How did you not move? That was the same outcome happening. Shit. This is not working so hard right now. That, that really throws me for a loop that it knocks off and doesn't rotate it at that point. That seems like what I need. <gasps> there it is. Have I done that before? I feel like I may have done that before and just not even noticed that I'd already solved the puzzle. Fuck it, it's over. Yeah! Looking around at the list of previous ones, and they're all looking pretty solved except for this one. The catapult. Just sounds like a neat final puzzle. There's a log with a butterfly on it. There's some hexagonal rocks, because we're big fans of those. And the pipes over here. Hmm. So, doo-doo. Hmm. If we did the zigzag, it'd be doo do, do, do. Or if we rotated it somehow, it'd be do, 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 do. There we go. And then the last two, then the little L would be here. I was like, I was trying to figure, visualize even one solution because at first I couldn't see any. What makes it a catapult? Oh boy. I'm not even visualizing this one yet. What's the worst thing that could happen? Let's just start rubbing our face on everything. Blurgle, blurgle. I did it. Alright. Uh, what are we gonna do with you? You're just so weird. Let's see. There's a weird bottom area, but like... You can't go sliding stuff through here because like, they won't... ever get back off the wall? I imagine that... Hmm. It might be that both pieces ultimately do crap. Like up here. And in the middle and everything. You probably have to somehow get it across the middle, then up into the top via the rotation thing, which goes clockwise. And this bottom part, since it'd be, it'd be useful, it'd be useless for moving these things because they'd get stuck on the wall. Especially when you make them stand up like that. So it's only really here for, for me to, to be able to transit, probably. Hmm. Really, it starts off there. Huh. You can literally only push it this way. Like, it's only a matter of, am I going to push it this way first? Or am I going to push it this way from the very beginning? Like, you can't push it other ways. Conspicuous. Go, 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 go. 
Is this in any way a useful thing to do? I think I actually can't interact with any of the puzzle pieces right now. Alright, so your position starting off, that's, that might be good. Nope, now you're trapped. I need to figure out what to do with you. Otherwise you get stuck immediately. Ah, freedom. Okay. So we're pretty much just free to like... ...jam you in here and get this, the puzzle solved or whatever. But that may not be necessary yet. You're the weird one though. Let's see, I probably don't put you on this button and rotate you because you'll get stuck on the wall. So I might need to push you in here. If I put you under here, can I move you? Really, it doesn't pick it up and move it around? What do I do with that? I can't push this, right? Because I'd have to be standing on it? Yeah. If this was all just one tile to the right, I could probably rotate this and lift them out. I guess at that point you want to rest restart. Twist you out. Unless we don't want to yet. No, I probably do. Leave that be for a moment. Oops. Like, the moment I push it in here, I can't push it up anymore. So it seems like the only way to get it to fall in this hole would be to push it from here. But that just gets me stuck in the same position, so how do I get it to go further? This is problem. Is this useful? I feel like it's gonna... Yeah, that's what I thought. There's too much clearance, so it won't, it won't go in. Is there a different shape that'd be more useful for getting it to go the way I want it to go? It's one of those moments where I'm kind of questioning what the rules are for some of the movements. Like, could this be better? This is what I did last time, isn't it? God damn it. So we know that doesn't help. I straight up can't reach it from that side. If I could hook it from the other side, we'd be in better shape. Yeah, that's the problem, is I can't get it off this wall. If I get to go downward, then I could put this one on top. 
Because if I can get the big one to go through first, then getting the second, the smaller one to fit through the right way would be easy. But that's just not an option. Oh, I think I see it. I think I see it. If we stand this up, it won't go in the hole. Yes. Why am I going? The button's over here. Is that it? Is that all I needed to do? Can I just make the solution now? Oop, careful. Careful. Um, you go here. Yes. Get out of my way. Yes. Yes. Is it over over? Did I beat it beat it? Like for good for good? <laughs> Saying things twice for some reason. I got an achievement called New Island Plus. 48 out of 47 plus 8. Do I have every achievement in the game? I have all 12 achievements in the game. Um, maps complete. I think that's it, you guys. Not much, not necessarily any fanfare besides the achievement coming up. There's a, the developer tweeted after release saying that they felt inspired and added more levels. So maybe that's what this was. Maybe this was a post-release addition to the game when you beat it. That's why it's on a weird map. That is interesting, because it means that they could keep adding more if they wanted to. There's a lot more ocean around here. But if they didn't- but if they never add more, it's framed as if that would- it's framed nicely on opposite sides of the screen, as if it might be the only one. We'll see. There we go, guys! We beat High Push Paradise! And it took months! <laughs> Mainly, yeah, not entirely because I, I wasn't literally working on it for months. It was just, I it was like, I, I don't have, I just don't have this puzzle solved for tomorrow. I gotta play something else. And that kept happening. Uh, the whole time, Grandpa never woke up. Yeah, real neat game. I, uh, I don't like Sokoban. Like, I don't like the push the, just push boxes around puzzles. But Steven Sausage Roll and Pipe Push Paradise are both really... Interesting variations in that idea and this one This one kept getting more complex in ways. I wasn't expecting in Really cool ways like we started dealing with verticality. We started dealing with magnet items that stick to each other and rotating Rotating objects that you can also change the shape of in 3d space got some next level crazy when we started having items that you could change the shape of it by moving the pieces around and rotating the hinges of the magnetic chunks and then rotating them while they were in that stance. Is that... I think that's basically... I don't see any rotation pads in that last level. Interesting. Ah, so that's the idea, huh? The, the dark green world in the top right corner is where they added the rotation pads, the, and then the red, the brick red level right before the ending is where they added the magnetic pipes. And the big challenge of the final level was that they added rotation pads and those pipes and verticality in the same place. And so the gimmick here for this island is they, they made an entire island that was in the style of the final puzzle, which is that they had verticality, rotating pads, and magnetic pipes. That's what they're going for. Alright, yeah, real neat game. Thanks for watching like always, guys, and I'll see you next time.